today we will find the solution to problem 4.21 of Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics the problem 2.4.21 uh, is a certain coaxial cable consists of a uh, copper wires uh, radius a uh, surrounded by the concentric uh, copper tubes uh, of inner radius C as shown in figure uh, 4.26. This is the figure 4.26. The space between uh, between uh, is, is partially spilled from P out to C. So P to C, it is partially filled with dielectric, with the material of dielectric constant epsilon R as shown. So find the capacitance per unit length of this cable. So there is a wire. We have a, a concentric copper tube with the inner radius C. Uh, so now our aim is to find the capacitance of this one. First, you take uh, the take the region A to P. This region. So between A and P. Uh, so between A and P, the media is A. That you have to keep it in your mind. That is A. You take some distance, consider a distance S, yes, which is between A and P. Uh, then uh, the electric displacement. Uh, because we are dealing with uh, dielectrics, so instead of electric field, we are using electric displacement where the surface integral of a electrical displacement t uh, dot da is equal to the total charge q divided by epsilon naught here uh, t by definition you know t by definition displacement the electric displacement is epsilon r multiplied by e electric field so here 2a is equal to, uh, if you integrate uh, this, you will get the area. Area is 2 pi s. We are considering a s in between a and p. 2 pi s, l, l is the length of this uh, oh, wire, copper wire. That is length is in cylindrical form. So area is equal to 2 pi s l, which is equal to, Q over epsilon naught. Then uh, epsilon r, because between A and B, we have A. Epsilon, then epsilon r is equal to 1. So this will become just E, and you bring this 2 pi s L to the right hand side. This will become 2 pi epsilon naught s L. So electric field between A and B is equal to. Uh, Q divided by 2 uh, pi epsilon and uh, epsilon naught SL. Now we will see uh, the other. Now we will find the electric field uh, between P and C. That is uh, this region, P and C. In this region, we have dielectric. That you have to keep it in your mind. So the uh, surface integral of D dot uh, TA, which is equal to Q over epsilon naught between when yes I am taking s yes, uh, the radius yes from the origin that is that point is between P and C so now this uh, T can be written as e, uh, epsilon R into E here epsilon naught R is not one uh, Earlier we uh, we have taken this as one because uh, between A and P it is uh, air. So rep relative permittivity of air is one. In this case uh, we have dielectric media, so we are keep retaining this epsilon r. Uh, then uh, the area of the cylinder is two pi s l, which is equal to q pi epsilon r. Now E is equal to, you bring uh, 2 pi SL and epsilon R in this side, right hand side. So this will become 2 pi epsilon R, epsilon naught, SL. Epsilon R, R epsilon naught is uh, just epsilon. Uh, so uh, uh, by definition, V of R is equal to uh, minus integral between the 
upper limit that is actually it is minus infinite to that particular point here we are taking the maximum in the uh, lower limit maximum value is c we are going to find between a to c so now it is minus uh, c to a so which can be written as um, minus integral of p to a that is between p and a uh, e dot ti minus uh, integral between c to p this uh, c is uh, this up, upper uh, distance higher distance we are taking in low because it is uh, from infinite to that particular point here it is not infinite the maximum value is c c we are taking at the bottom of the integral that is lower limit and p is the upper limit of the integral e dot ti now uh, you just uh, change the uh, limit of the integral uh, the first part is uh, instead of p to a i am changing a to p here similarly uh, c to p p to c so the sign will get changed because we are, i am changing the limit of the integral then the e value elect, uh, that is the electric field uh, between a and p we have seen is equal to uh, q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught s l i am taking a s separately because uh, we are going to integrate over uh, t s uh, so uh, here it is uh, the, uh, since it is here we are taking epsilon naught uh, then on the second integral is q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught which we have seen epsilon naught l t s over s so these two integral we have to uh, carry out we have to integrate this one here q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught l is a constant so i am taking out the terms inside the bracket then uh, if you integrate ts uh, over s you will get natural logarithm of s between the limit a to p similarly here i am taking q over 2 pi epsilon l uh, outside the integral so integral of 1 over s is equal to natural logarithm of s between the limit p to c now if you apply the limit uh, you will get uh, you will get uh, logarithm uh, this natural uh, logarithm uh, p divided by a here this will be uh, natural logarithm c divided by uh, p here uh, you have l in this side and uh, here also l i am bringing that l to the uh, left hand side uh, similarly uh, i am replacing uh, this uh, epsilon this epsilon pi uh, epsilon naught epsilon naught so uh, now we have to find the uh, capacitance per unit length that is c by l uh, c is uh, q divided by v uh, that is uh, charge uh, divided by the potential and l you have to find uh, per uh, length capacitance per length that is c by l uh, c is replaced by q by v uh, then uh, this l will come here uh, that means q divided by vl we have to take inverse of this if you take inverse of this then you will get 2 pi epsilon here and here also 2 pi epsilon naught so 2 pi epsilon naught i am bringing to the numerator uh, then in the denominator uh, you will get uh, that uh, logarithm natural logarithm of p by a plus here there is 1 over epsilon r is there so 1 over epsilon r uh, uh, natural logarithm of c by p this is the value for the uh, uh, this is the uh, value of a uh, capacitance per unit length uh, sorry uh, this is the capacitance per unit length capacitance per unit length of the uh, 
cylinder uh, that is cylindrical uh, wire so this is the capacitance per unit length uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously thank you very much